Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. After a very long break, I am back with pathology made easy. In today's video, I will discuss the leukemia for practical approach. For that, we have to look for the age distribution, complete blood count and the type of blast. This figure is showing the flow chart of the stem cell maturation. As we are, can see, the maturation of myeloid and lymphoid series from the multiple and hematopoietic stem cell. Now, first start with the age, we are starting with the age distribution. Leukemia can develop at any age, but sudden of leukemia are more common in different stages of life. So we can divide it as the childhood leukemia and adult leukemia. In childhood, the common leukemia seen are the acute lymphoblastic leukemia, acute myeloid leukemia, while in the adult, the commonly leukemia as seen are the acute myeloid leukemia, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia, and chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. This is a result of a study conducted for the age distribution of the leukemia. It shows the maximum number of cases of leukemia subtype ALL are seen in first and second decade, while in third, fourth, and fifth decade, the more number of cases are seen of that of AML, while the other chronic leukemias are more seen in the more than fifth decade after the fifth decade which is seen in geriatric age group so we here at the end we see the mean age group for the all the leukemia which is the 35 for aml 24 for all then the 45 for the cml and the 57.5 for the cll now the type of leukemia according to we discuss the total count normally we suspect the leukemia in mainly the where the total count is high but there are some conditions which are known as the subleukemic and the aleukemic leukemia in which there is no increase in total count in CBC. So we have to differentiate between all the three conditions and we have to know how to define them. So for the normal leukemia, we are seeing the leukemia normally at the high TC with present of blast in peripheral smear and swellers in bone marrow. While in subleukemic leukemia, there is the total count is normal. But we can see the blast in peripheral smear as well as in bone marrow. While in aleukemic leukemia, total count may be normal or decrease. But and the blasts are absent in peripheral smear. But in bone marrow, we can see the blast presence. So as the conclusion of this approach, we have to know what to look for and what not to miss. As the age platelet count and percentage of blast will help us to differentiate between acute and chronic leukemia while the total count will help us in differentiating subleukemic or aleukemic leukemia and the nature of blast will help us in differentiating the myeloid leukemia or the lymphoid leukemia. In this slide there is two types of blasts are seen one is the myelo and another is the lymphoblast. We have to know the difference between both of them to differentiate the myeloid leukemia or the lymphoid leukemia. In myeloblast, the size is somewhat larger, the cytoplasm is moderate or may be present, nuclear chromatin is fine and the prominent nucleoli 1 to 2 are seen in this picture. While in the lymphoblast, the size is somewhat smaller, scanty cytoplasm and the pore rod is absent then the nuclear chromatin is coarse and indistinct or absent nuclear now we will see the some pictures of these leukemias here in these pictures we have having the 35 year male with ps in this ps we are showing the almost all the cells are large in size with a moderate amount of cytoplasm and the nuclear chromatin is fine with having one to two prominent nucleoli so it is suggestive of myeloid blast and we are showing the percentage of blast is also higher so it is suggestive of the acute myeloid leukemia now here we have having the three year female with the peripheral smear showing like this the, all the cells are somewhat larger than the lymphocyte with having scant cytoplasm and the very the coarse chromatin 
and the absence of nucleoli with all the pictures are suggestive of lymphoid blast so and the age is three years so we will think of acute lymphocytic leukemia now in this picture 65 year male with the peripheral smear in this smear the oxyls seen are mostly that of normal mature lymphocytes with smudging at many places and the sum of atypical lymphocytes are also seen so these all are features leading us to the chronic lymphocytic leukemia now so now for this picture the age is given is the 45 year male in this picture we are showing the various myelocytic cells they are of the myelocyte then the metamyelocyte these are the myeloblasts with having the moderate amount of cytoplasm 1 to 2 prominent nucleoli fine chromatin but the important is these cells which is having a prominent granules in nucleus as well as in cytoplasm they are the basophils which are the characteristic feature of chronic myeloid leukemia now these are my references for the images as of now for the confirmation of the subtype of leukemia many advanced studies like flow cytometry in immunofluorescence is there but we still can't miss this approach for the prognosis as well as our provisional diagnosis of type of leukemia thank you